Hello everyone, I'm Martin Laville and I'm going to present you the work we've done for the Canadian AI 2020 conference. Um, our work seek to study differences between different um, bilingual lexicon induction uh, configuration. But uh, at first, let me explain what uh, lingual lexicon induction is. So um, basically, it's just the task of finding translation of words between uh, language. On this table, we can see um, the results obtained for two pair of words and, um, the, and three different missing. The BLI is useful, for example, for machine translation and uh, information retrieval. Um, to conduce this experiment, we use two English-French corpora. And um, as our general corpora, we use Wikipedia which is quite big, we use a dump of Wikipedia. And as um, our specialized corpora, we, we use breast cancer, it's smaller and it's specialized. So um, it's interesting to, to see what are the, the results for this task on a specialized domain. Um, to evaluate this, this, we use, of course, two reference lists, one for, for each corpus. And um, we we use two seed lexicon or the, f the first one is quite small and the second one is way bigger and uh, supposedly of better quality okay so now that we know what we use we are going to see how we are going to, to use it so we just use a state-of-the-art uh, approaches uh, the first one is an old one and um, is the bag of food uh, approach and um, then we use two um, embeddings method. The first one are uncontextualized, are fast text embeddings, and the second one are Elmo embeddings and are contextualized. We, for the Elmo embeddings, we we create encore embeddings, and we need only one vector per words, um, as opposed to one vector per token, as Elmo gives us. And finally, we can map the embeddings in the same space using a translation matrix. Um, we do two kinds of mapping. The first one is um, with supervised, is supervised, and so it's, it needs a seed lexicon. And the second one is unsupervised. Um, to evaluate this work, we use two reference lists as seen earlier. But um, looking at all at the general list, we saw um, some way pairs, uh, like for example, enjoy, enjoy, um, when enjoy is not a, a French pair, or Madagascar and Hugo, which are not really interesting to translate because they are graphically identical and uh, they are entity names. So um, the, these two characteristics make them not really interesting to, to translate. So um, we create three sub-lists to, to study what are the strengths of each method and where do they really shine. Um, the first one is, um, is created by removing pair of words which are not in a, in a monolingual, in their, in a respective monolingual dictionary. Um, the second one is um, re removing pair that are too graphically close. So we use these two lists. We with these two sub lists. We um, took care of the example we saw just uh, before, and finally we also study um, less frequent pair because usually on um, those kind of work, um, this kind of work, um, only focus on um, on word with. On the 50,000 more frequent words, sorry. Um, the results are presented with precision at uh, top form. And uh, so to synthesize that, we vary three ap approaches, uh, bag of words, contextualized and uncontextualized embeddings, two um, corpora, specialized or general, two seed lexicon, a small, and, uh, a small one, muse, and a better one, LRA, and uh, four reference list, the um, one which is the base of the three others. 
and we seek to look which parameter matters in um, in each um, configuration. So now that we know the context, we can see what uh, what the results are. Um, at first, only focusing on the general domain and uh, the original list, we see that uh, supervised is um, still the way to go. It's still better than unsupervised, even if the, the results are quite close. And that um, fast text uh, presents better um, better results than Elmo and Dagofolds. And finally, that um, uh, having a big, bigger or better still lexicon uh, do not improve the results. It even uh, degrades them for for this case. For the specialized domain, um, we have the same trend for fast text and Elmo. Um, but for the specialized domain, we see that um, here having a bigger seed lexicon is um, presents no better results. For our first sublist, we we look at the in dictionary list, and um, we see that no for the general domain, fast text um, is worse while Elmo is better. Uh, while for the specialized domain, it, do, it does not change a lot for fast text and and bag of words. Um, for fast text and for bag of words and Elmo, it improves the the results. Um, for the edit distance list, we see that uh, there is a huge loss for, for all method. And um, finally, for our last sublist, um, we come back to previous results for for Elmo and fast text. But for bag of words, we see that um, the results are really bad. Um, this for the general domain and for the specialized domain, um, the results are not quite um, interesting because as we we saw on the table earlier, um, it only it's for only eighteen pair of words. Um, now uh, we can look deeper into into what the results are, and we can analyze analyze for for different pair of words and uh, different um, different method. So um, for fast text. We can see for this first pair that it finds graphically close words, even if it's words that are not related to to the source word. Like it finds Napoleon as top one, but as top two, it finds Napoleon, which are um, which is a kind of flower. Um, for Elmo, um, he, it seems to capture the meaning of the words. If we stay at the Napoleon pair. We, we see that even if it doesn't find Napoleon as, uh, as the first translation and only at the second one, we, we can see that Belisaire, Guerri, and Salinato are war concept or war general related to war. Um, and for rings, it finds ceinture sphere, which are um, geometrical shapes. Uh, finally, if we look at a um, low frequency pair, we see that Bagufoot is really affected by that and uh, gives us results that are not give, gives us translation that are not even words from the French language. And uh, finally, if we look at the specialized domain, uh, we can see that it seems easier for to find translation um, as naissance and is correctly found for three three method and um, the the other other top are are quite are, are quite related to that. Um, it's still okay for lower frequency, but if we look at um, really low frequency pair, we see that Pagofus does not find the, the translation, and for fast text, it starts to um, giving us results not really interesting, like Dominique, Monique, Colette are names. To conclude this, we we can say that reference list. Um, are not often questioned and it needs to be done more often because else we do not really know what we are evaluating and uh, we hope this work will help people to best consider these aspects. Um, if you have any questions feel free to ask them and thanks for listening.